So whenever I think of a fall fragrance, like when I think about going out at night, what I think about wearing is something that's sweet and something that's warm and spicy. And so I decided I was going to create a little video here of five great fragrances that are those sweet and spicy type fragrances. They have those spicy accords, they have something rocking with the sweetness, and they're super mass appealing. And so without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> What's up my dudes, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another fragrance video. Again, today I wanna to be talking about five different fragrances that are kind of those warm, spicy, sexy, night out fragrances for the fall and winter that will get you noticed and are gonna make you smell great. Uh, before I get into the video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and if you like my content, follow me on the other socials in Instagram and TikTok. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into it here to be honest with you just so I'm not beating around the bush The first one that I want to talk about here I talked about in one of my previous videos for the first time I actually didn't talk about this very much because I'm very obsessed with another one in this line that I kind of just Push this one to the side. This one has grown on me a lot So when you think of spice in this fragrance community, what do you think of a spice bomb and say so you got spice bomb extreme yeah, I thought you probably thought it was gonna be infrared, but I'm taking a break from infrared for a few for a few weeks at least. Um, even though that's my favorite in the line, Spice Bomb Extreme is definitely 100% growing on me. Uh, surprisingly, even though this is the most popular Spice Bomb in the fragrance community, it is the least selling of all the Spice Bombs and is rumored to be discontinued. So just to give you a heads up, it's. Uh, a L'Oreal rep told another uh, reviewer that they were thinking about taking it and putting it on the chopping block. But anyway, as far as this fragrance is concerned, the main notes you get in Spice Bomb Extreme are black pepper, vanilla, tobacco, and lavender. And that's pretty much the only things you need to know. In the opening, you get that black pepper, you get a couple other spices mixed in with this uh, little bit of lavender that provides this like aromatic freshness and a little bit of tobacco and you make it like a bomb, especially in the opening. All of the spice bombs have that real spicy heavy opening. Then as you work your way into the mid into the dry down, that lavender pulls up, the spices come down. As you get that tobacco and lavender really mixing well together, and then the main part of the fragrance, which is that vanilla. It really comes in, it's like a powdery vanilla, mixes in with the lavender and the tobacco. And then, like Spice Bomb Infrared, when you get to the dry down, it's like a cinnamon vanilla woods. This is like a tobacco vanilla woods throughout the rest of the fragrance. Spice Bomb Extreme. Um, while I find infrared to be a little bit more of a creamy vanilla, this one's more of like the powdery vanilla. I think it's because of, um, there's tonka bean in this as well, I believe. And then that lavender, it just all together makes this like powdery facet. So overall, if you like night out fragrances, you want to project, you want to have something that lasts seven to eight hours, will get you noticed, and is great to eat through the cold. Spice Bomb Extreme is definitely going to do that for you. Again, I prefer Spice Bomb Infrared, but if you like powdery vanilla fragrances, you'll definitely like this. Again, with that spicy opening, it's, it gives you that warmth, it gives you that spice, and then it gives you that sweetness in the dry down. Now, stemming off of Spice Bomb Extreme, we have one that smells pretty much in the same realm as Spice Bomb Extreme, and it's a lot of people give it comparisons to it. I actually prefer Spice Bomb Extreme to this, and this is by Bulgari. It is Bulgari Man in Black. So Bulgari Man in Black, while the bottle is actually really cool and it's really hefty, um, I get a note from it that really sticks out to me. Um, in the Fragranica, they say it's called Spices, but what I get from it is black pepper. The main notes you get in Bulgari Man in Black are spices, rum, tobacco, and leather. You also get tonka and guyac wood and a little bit of amber throughout this fragrance as well. But for the first 15 minutes, unlike the Spice Bomb Extreme, that has that black pepper really mixing in there with the other spices. I believe there's like cinnamon and stuff like that. The black pepper really shows out in this one to the point where if I spray it on a tester, it's better on the skin for sure, but on a tester, it really comes through a little bit tingly to the nose. That black pepper is a little bit strong, and sometimes it's just too much for me. 
Um, but once you get past that 15 minutes, again, then you get that woody notes coming in. You also get that vanilla, some of that amber. It really comes in and it's a really, really nice, again, very similar to the spice bomb. You get some of that powderiness, a little bit of that fresh spiciness uh, mixed together and it's a nice fragrance. Um, if you, this one's going to be harder to come across as far as whether or not you're going to like it compared to Spice Bomb Extreme. If you had to ask me which one I would pick, Spice Bomb Extreme would still probably be the one to pick. This one's a little bit more unique and I do wear it on occasion, but if I had to choose one again, it would be Spice Bomb Extreme. This one's still worth it. It has a little bit better of a projection and a little bit better of a longevity to me than the Spice Bomb Extreme, where I get about eight hours and about double arm's length for the first three hours. So that's Bulgari Man in Black. Fantastic fall fragrance. If you're looking for something that has that overwhelming black pepper in the opening, really, really spicy. If you like those really heavy spices, and then some Gayak wood, if you like Gayak wood, if you like some amber and some resinous qualities in the fragrance while maintaining that fresh spiciness, it's great. So now going into the third one, this is my favorite in this line. Uh, the next three are actually my favorite in the lines that I'm talking about. And this one is a stronger with you. It is stronger with you. Absolutely. And I know you don't really consider spice as a stronger with you. Absolutely. But it's the whole blend of the fragrance that comes off as like a sweet spiciness. It always has. Uh, it's that chestnut mixed with a little bit of the spicy notes that come through that really in the rum that provides this spicy accord. Uh, again, accords are just everything mixed together that formulates something. And again, the chestnut and all of that really do formulate that spicy accord. So overall, this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. The main notes and strong with you absolutely are rum, elemi, chestnut, vanilla, and then you also have some lavender and cedar mixing in there as well to give it a little bit of like a fresh aromatic woods. Um, with that said, strong with you absolutely, the main thing you need to know is it takes that original DNA, not intensely, the original DNA with that super nutty chestnut, that sweetness, and it mixes it together in a much better, well-blended, darker, a little bit heavier and richer and just overall better version of the original with that rum and elemi providing that boozy sweetness. And then again, you get some spice mixed in there. It's one of my best fragrance I have. It's one of my favorite fragrances. I absolutely love it. I'm already on my second bottle and I only heard about it like a year and a half ago. And that tells you something with the amount of fragrances that I own. It has this deeper, darker, more masculine vibe than the original and it's not as strong or sorry, as sweet as the intensely. It dials that sweetness back just a little bit to make it more wearable. And so strong with you absolutely is great. I get about 12 hours on this fragrance. While it doesn't project heavily for a long time, it's about above average for the first like four or five hours. Strong with you absolutely. Probably the best, if not the best in the line. Great for date nights, by the way, fall and winter fragrance. All of these are fall and winter fragrances. I think that's pretty much known. This one's amazing and it's not talked about nearly enough. And this is from the Valentino Born in Roma line, which is one of my favorite lines. This is Valentino. Um, when I first bought this, I thought to myself, this could be a fresher like spring and summer fragrance and fall and winter fragrance because it does have this freshness to it. Um, it's more of like a sweet freshness, if that makes sense. Um, but I'll tell you the notes first. The main notes in Yellow Dream are spices, gingerbread, sandalwood, pineapple, and vanilla. So the main things you need to pull from this is are spice, gingerbread, and vanilla, or spices, pineapple, gingerbread, and vanilla. Um, it has, when you first open up, there's this like nutmeg, almost like a cinnamon quality mixed with this warmer, darker, deeper pineapple, and then this like creamy vanilla coming in. It's very, it's like a fresh fruitiness mixed with this deeper, darker, spicy fragrance, and you put them together, and that's why it's like, it confuses me because I feel like I can wear this pretty much all year round at night. I also live in a cooler climate, so that's probably easier for me, but um, this is the most unique from any of the uh, Born in Romas, even though all of them are doing something different. 
Yellow Dream, if you want something a little bit different, you want more of that true pineapple, not like any Aventus pineapple. This is more of like the true, sweeter, put your nose in a pineapple type thing, mixed with, again, some unique spices, a little bit of that gingerbread, and then some sandalwood and some vanilla in the dry down. Gives it that creamy vanilla pineapple spice. Really, really a nice, it's almost like a pineapple vanilla cookie. Uh, it's really, really good. It, it reminds me of fall at some points, and it reminds me of summer at some points. I really like the fragrance, and I think you should definitely get your nose on it. They have it at every Sephora, so you should definitely try that out, and some Macy's. Uh, as far as the longevity and projection on that, it's not as good as the other ones. I get about six to seven hours, but I still love the fragrance. It's not for person. It's a mass appealing. Don't have to wear it for personal enjoyment. None of these are really personal enjoyment scents outside of maybe Bulgari Man in Black. Uh, but you get about six to seven hours with above average projection for the first two. So now going into the last one on my list, it's the newest release out of all of these. This is, came out about four months ago by Burberry. It's Burberry Hero uh, Eau de Parfum. Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. So the main notes you get in this are benzoin, incense, cedar, and alibinum. And you also do get some pine and amber in here as well. So the way I can put this the best is it's kind of like a mix between Stronger With You and the original Burberry. So I don't like Burberry Hero that much because it's a little bit too woody and it's just like kind of like woods and spice. But then put that together with a nice amount of sweetness and that's what you get in this one. And it's actually really nice. The only issue with me is it doesn't have the best projection. It lasts for about six hours, but it only projects about moderate for the first like hour to an hour and a half. Um, with that said, Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum, you get that little bit of pine in the opening mixed with some of that amber, some of that spice, and then you work your way into the dry down, you get a bunch of cedar coming in, mixing again with that sweetness, that spice. It's the best way to put it. It's a spicy sweet woods and that's what the fragrance is throughout and all the way throughout and it has this resinous quality to it if you like the sweeter fragrances like strong with you but you would like a little bit more of a woody masculine take to it burberry hero eau de parfum is a great pick the only thing is is the price on it's a little bit steep so i hope they do drop the drop that burberries have been off of discounters lately so hopefully they do bring that back but yeah, those are really nice fragrances. If you're looking for something that's great for date nights, um, that can last six hours plus, that's going to project and get you noticed. If you like that sweet and spicy, slightly masculine type fragrances, any of these are gonna do that for you and they are right up my alley. So if you know that you like my type of fragrances that I always pitch on my channel, then you should definitely try out uh, these three. My favorite three from the list are definitely gonna be these three. Spice Bomb Extreme is still growing on me, and again, Bulgari Man in Black is kind of just like Spice Bomb Extreme, just a little bit spicier. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about these fragrances in the comments. I know some of you guys are like me and were not a fan of the original, the Extreme at first, but uh, let me know what you think also about the Bulgari Man in Black. Do you still get that black pepper feel? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, and again, I'll be back with another video. Thanks again for joining me today. Peace out.